Hello there, folks. Welcome to another Train Sim Classic presentation video today. Uh, we, have, we have got a Norfolk Southern SD70 ACU from none other than Travel by Train, shortly on the heels of the epic release of the Searchlight Simulations Canadian Pacific SD70 ACU. Now, uh, Travel by Train, the developer for this model, has been working on this thing for quite a while. In fact, if I remember correctly, um, the article writer, Mr. Derry Golzol, wrote an article for this thing like it was going to release... This is like two, three, four months ago. It was a long time ago. It, it you know, it, it just didn't exist, and all of a sudden, bam, here it is. It's now available on the Steamwork workshop the steam store page that is uh it's 19.99 typical price it's the same price as what you would pay on travel by trains website uh which he also offers a canadian pacific uh acu which you can get them both for 24.99 uh tells you all about it blah 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 and you're gonna get the norfolk southern acu of course and three scenarios which you're going to get for the Norfolk Southern Coal District or Pin Coal as it's colloquially known uh, within Train Sim Classic. So uh, let's go ahead and crack this nut open. All right then so the uh, this is the Norfolk Southern SC70 ACU now of course Canadian Pacific and Norfolk Southern both own ACUs uh, the Norfolk Southern units were previously Union Pacific SD90 Max, which Progress Rail got a hold of, and then uh, Norfolk Southern took uh, ownership of them in about 2014 and, and started to rebuild, started updating them, uh, overhauling the EMD 710G3C prime movers. Uh, what else? He did the cab, the nose, the electronics inside, CCP2 air brakes, Mitsubishi inverters, rear ditch lights, the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, there was ballast added for weight. They now meet tier one emissions and some units operate generally 4,500 horsepower thereabouts. Uh, now Norfolk Southern has the K5LA or P5 horn and the Graham White E-Bell. The roster for Norfolk Southern's uh, ACUs are 7229 through 7339. Now with the uh, the Wikipedia ness out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing here. So we know, largely, some of you may not, and that's fine. Now you do. S Searchlight Simulations is working on one of these themselves as we speak. It is, I won't say it's very close to being done, uh, but it's it's getting there. It is, it's getting there, and it looks good. I mean, of course it does. It looks just as good as the Searchlight Simulations Canadian Pacific SD70 ACU. And then there's these. So you've got two options. You could probably guess which one I would go for. You know, but if you're someone who doesn't like to venture off the Steam store, the Searchlight one may not be for you. And that's sad. I feel sad for those folks that may not venture off the Steam store as far as their purchases because some of the best items for North American Train Sim uh, DLC are not on the Steam store. With that being said, uh, Tale of Two Locos, if you will. Here we are again, right off the get-go. The wheels look absolutely ridiculous. They still have that bright blue, just ultra shiny look to them. They don't look realistic at all. That's the, the big glaring thing with me that I see in this thing right off the bat. Not only that, the smoke coming out of the exhaust. Okay, these things are tier one now, all right? So they're not gonna be smoking that damn much just sitting at idle, for starters, okay? Secondly, I mean, it's squares. It is literally Minecraft smoke. Hell, Minecraft smoke. I don't even know if that's a thing. I never played Minecraft. Probably looks better than that. Uh, 
That needs some updating, my guy. That and the wheels. These wheels are blue. They just, they don't, and, and, and like the, the outer bit here, this part right here looks way too deep. Like these are some, some deep dish, you know, JDM wheels or something. They just do not look right at all. The color does not look right. They need to be darker, dingier. They need to largely match, you know, the axles and the underframe. So anyway, that out of the way, those glaring things. Another glaring thing to me is the glass, the cab glass. It's just, it looks ultra paper thin, very bright. There's no darkness or shading to it at all. They do tint these things for the most part. Uh, it's something about the framing as well. The, you know, the, the rubber trim and all that, just, it just, they look huge. I mean, you can see it from a mile away. Just, it looks insane. Those need to be darkened up a lot. Another thing <laughs> is this massive hot dog MU cable. It is chagungus. It's very large. They're not that damn large in real life. Um, still got the crappy old coupler, which is not in, well, <laughs> I was going to say not incorrect. It's very much incorrect. Uh, you know, but there's that. The air hoses still don't look great. Now, the pilot looks okay. Um, you know, for the most part, that's definitely better than a, a DTM, uh, you know, SD40-2 attempt from the Saluda grade pack. Uh, and it's actually got some weathering on there, and it looks okay for the most part. It's still kind of got that oily, kind of water and oil mix look to it. Um... You know, but it's it's dinged up a little bit. There's yellow where uh, yellow needs to be on the grab irons, the steps, the trim of the steps, uh, little bits and bobs under the ditches. Um, let's go to the rear here. Of course, it's got the rear ditch lights because that's what they added as well. Uh, yeah, yellow. Yellow seems where it needs to be. Uh, it does have a lot of stickers. Now, it doesn't have any official um, you know, logos and stickers and things like that, but it's got your high voltage, your, your generic warnings and things like that, largely where they need to be. I mean, it, you know, this thing, I get the feeling he did, you know, wait before releasing this thing and worked on a lot of this stuff, uh, but we'll see the further we go, of course. So, so by and large, that, you know, looks okay for the most part. One of the big glaring issues is the, uh, the parking brake or the, uh, the, the hand crank, the handbrake wheel here. <laughs> it's so thin, dude. It's like toothpicks in the shape of a wheel. And it doesn't look like that in, in real life. It's more of a plate, very thick with a lot more spokes. Now he did add, you know, the stuff back here, but of course it doesn't doesn't look as good as the searchlight ACU, but, you know, that goes without saying, honestly. But, uh, yeah, I mean, everything, you know, side profile wise looks okay. Logo looks okay. Lettering looks okay. Oh, a little too close. It's not, um, it's not very high res, but the whole, you know, the whole skin on this thing isn't the, uh, the, the texture work, if you will. Uh, but, but by and large, again, that looks okay. I mean, the stickers look higher res than the friggin', you know, the logo, which is kind of ridiculous, but, uh, you know, travel by train. Uh, the trucks look okay. You know, they're, they're decently weathered. They look about on par, I would say. Um, you know, ex except for the axles, man, those wheels are God awful. It's got the poop chute down here, which is, uh, it don't look very yummy. Um, you know, so there's that. Uh, it looks like someone gave him, I'm assuming this is K5LA. It looks like somebody gave him K5LA model because he did not do that. You know, I, I hate to sound 100% on it, but I'm pretty damn sure he did not do that because look at that. And then look at the rest of the model. They don't match, right? Why would you make an incredibly based and great looking horn model and then 
Doesn't make sense, right? But uh, it's a nice, nice looking horn model, I guess. Um, you know, I got a feeling who gave that to him uh, to use. But uh, you know, the, the sound is really where it's going to count. Um, but yeah, I mean, by and large, the model looks looks okay. It looks like an ACU. Those wheels just look absolutely ridiculous. The numbering as well looks a bit funky. The the font is either too thin or they're spaced out too far. It needs to be kind of smooshed. Like the gaps in between the letters are realistically a lot less. Uh, should should be a little closer together. You can tell it's got the ISO cab there. Um, no helper link stuff. Feel like we're missing a decal here on the door. This decal here on the side actually belongs about right here. So that is incorrect. Um, the, the stripes look like, I don't know, the stripes look a little fat to me. They need to be a little thinner or something, like scaled down a bit. Um, but yeah, overall the, uh, the plating he might have touched up his plating. It's it's still not very high resolution, but the, the darker color of it does look a lot better than some of the older TVT stuff or DTM for that matter. It's basically the same stuff, honestly. Um, you know, so that does look a bit better. Um, you know, there's, there's no color to this thing at all. It's just kind of like a drab gray. Uh, should definitely be a bit darker. You can see a bit of weathering. It's like... You know, these things aren't that old, and there's already some rusting going on up on the nose, which is a bit odd. Uh, uh, those are definitely some of the headlights of all time, as well as number boards. The glass, you know, the windows really kill it as well. You can see there's a little bit of grime on there from the uh the wipers yeah the, the the front the whole glass area and the number boards and the, oh there's just so many weird i don't know what the hell the technical terms are going on with the the model and the texturing part of all this but it does not look right it looks unfinished and just very poor uh so yeah oh one other thing i noticed is it's missing the so it's got all the the park and brake handbrake stuff on there the automatic stuff but it doesn't have the bits down here that actually transfer that ability. There's a cable that runs down as well as a chain, which this does not uh, appear to have, shockingly. You see these wires have some kind of weird texture on them. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be red like that with the white. So that's some kind of little snafu that went on there. I actually see it all the way down, but it's really bad looking right there so yeah that's the exterior um you know overall not horrible honestly i mean it's you know it's not it's for for who it is that's made this they've uh you know they've stepped up their game to be totally fair in a few places but we all know what's going to come out soon and just squash this like a love bug on the front of your vehicle and uh you know but it it exists so if you want it it's it's definitely here um i can hear in the idle the idle you know it's not far off it doesn't sound one-to-one -one, of course i didn't expect this thing to have epic sounds again like the double s um you know they're close it's just not just not there you can hear like this weird kind of air crackly sound and you can hear the the loop of the idle sound we'll see it here in a moment hopefully you'll catch it there it was right there little puck and then it starts all over again that's eh, not good turn the sound back down let's look at the top uh you know it's got all the PTC bullshit and the aerials and all that up there. Whoop de doo. Yeah, the, the, the TBT or travel by train, TBT for short. Uh, it does some weird stuff, man. I'll tell you what. So 
you know, we, we had that GP40 pack, which was like the, the developer was testing out this kind of textured look or bump mapping for the first time, and it looked insane. It looked like the thing had been nuked or something. And like the paint and the metal was just bubbling and just doing all kinds of crazy shit. Um, this one does not have any of that, except on the poop chute. You can see a lot of it on the poop chute there. God, that is just nasty, man. <laughs> you gotta tone that down a little bit, honestly. Jesus. Uh, anyway, so, you know, like texture-wise on the outside, it looks very, very much older travel by train type stuff. Um, you know, again, it just looks very flat. Like, there's no depth, there's no shading, no AO to any of this stuff. Um... I mean, look at these bulb textures. Jesus. Hey, Such. H. Christ. Yeah, that just it doesn't look very good. But, you know, overall, the model, I mean, it looks okay. It looks pretty close to, to the uh, prototypical thing, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's close. This wheels and the windows really, really, really kill it, though. Got to step up something there. Foot plates are still that ultra-thin, you know, cheese grater, which just does not look good at all. Uh, now, I'm not seeing any texture issues yet. So, like, the GP40 pack, which is probably the last TBT thing I looked at, uh, he did not release that on the Steam store, and I'm assuming that's for good measure. Uh, because it wasn't good at all. It had a lot of glaring issues. And I guess, you know, Dovetail Games Q&A department or whatever the hell they call themselves, all one and a half of their team members that look at this stuff, thought this was decent enough uh, to release it. So here it is. Let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so it's got advanced brakes. Amazing. Advanced brakes to me is like taking a shitty old... 1989 clapped out Chevrolet truck that's just rusted through AC doesn't work and then putting a $6,000 set of wheels and tires on it who would do that they do not match they do they are not you know they're they it's not cohesive it doesn't why anyway <laughs> What on earth? Okay, so it's extremely silent inside. Um, I feel like the view from the inside of this thing to the cab is like the dude, you know, operating this thing has got his his ear stuck to the to the window over here. It seems really, really far over. Right off the bat, the MFTs or what's what's the MD called this shit? Like fire or something does not look right it's missing a bunch of stuff uh it's just missing a lot of stuff at the top you know where your uh your air is and it's just flat missing a bunch of stuff what in the hell um okay here's ptc nobody cares about it's Cut out. Of course, it's not going to work. It does have in-cab signals. Don't know if they work. We'll try and test it and see. Uh, it's got the ACU up there. There is no unit number up there. It's got the tonnage or the weight, if you will. It's got visors, although they are kind of stupid because they are just clear. They are clearer than the damn windshield. Hence, what is the point? So, yeah, there's that. Um... <laughs> oh baby just you know I, af after you know testing and using the uh, searchlight CP ACU and the getting in this thing it's you know of course I am sullied you know I have been uh, tainted if you will but even if I hadn't touched that this was <laughs> oh boy um you know, I've seen in-house Dovetail Games do North American stuff better than this. Uh, there's just no depth or shading to the control stand. It just looks like this flat, 
plastic, you know, child's, you know, playhouse thing. Um, it just, it doesn't, it just does not look good. There's a little bit of weathering on there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the MFDs or the screens don't look very good. It's just super flat. You know, these things are not completely inset into the panel like that in real life. They stick out. They have, you know, some trim or a bezel, if you will, around. Uh, you know, it just, it looks very flat. The, the sander buttons down here are missing the yellow caps. Um, you know, the handles are, yeah, he's got, you know, he's, he's got the handles over DTM. I'll give it that. Even tried to add that kind of bronze, bronze or, or copperish color, if you will. Um, but it's a little too dark. Um... I mean, everything else looks okay. It's, of course, missing logos. There's no NOR, you know, radio logo, none of that crap in here. Um, yeah. Does, does not look great. Still using these same ass old seats, uh, which, again, do not look good at all. Um, go to the conductor side. You can see the light bleeding through the model here. If you hear a weird sound in the background, that's my dog trying her best to ruin the carpet in my office. Uh, got floor heaters down there. There's just no real depth to the floor either. It's just, uh, you know, it's kind of like one of those weird looking Picasso paintings where it's just a bunch of shapes and colors all mushed together. Like there's no... You know, this is supposed to be 3D, and it doesn't even look 3D. That makes any sense at all. Got the camera on there. Oy. Yeah, the interior could be touched up. I think the window's open. Yeah, they're pain in the ass to move. They make no sound. They make no sound themselves, nor do they change the exterior sound to the interior sound. Nothing going on there. What about the rear? I don't think that changes a damn thing either. Um. So yeah, it's not 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 very good. Um. Let's go outside and shut it down. It's got the old like GP, you know, spitter sounds. I'm, I'm fairly damn certain the ACU does not spit this crazily. I mean, it is just there are a lot of air and you know drier sounds and all that on the ACU and the the newer EMD units, but not like this. So you may still be hearing something, and that's the the setup I've got down the way there in the yard. So it's just, that's what it sounds like this far away. Exactly the same. Fire it back up. Yeah. I mean, it's a thing, I guess. All right, so let's look at them headlights. I am hitting the H key and absolutely nothing is happening. I am smashing the F out of the H key on my keyboard right now, and it's begging for mercy. Nothing is happening. Nothing. My whole desk is shaking from me smashing the H key. What the hell? Little minor things like that. Come on, guys. What? 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 Why was that difficult to, to make a key command happen with the traditional H or H? for my non-American friends. All right, so let's go inside. Turn them on. All right, we got our ditch lights. Are these the headlights? Yeah, it's ditch lights. And then... Holy mother of God! That looks terrible. What? On. Look at this flat flare. 
what? It, 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 you know, and the <laughs> and the plates down here that are supposed to help from you know blinding crew, just it just they're just floating out in front of the light. What on earth? Um, shenanigans aside, it looks like he's attempted to change the coloring. So there's that. Uh, the color is not, um, you know, crazy bright white. It's actually got a more natural look to it. But oh my God, those flares. The ditch lights, um, same thing. It's got the weird starburst effect. The color looks a little bit better than usual TBT or DTM stuff. Um, and I have these set to constant and they are still flashing. Uh, yeah, that's constant, right? And then that's flash. Okay, no, that's constant. Is that backwards? Is this supposed to be like that? Yeah, so the lighting does look, you know, the, the color does look a little bit better. I'll give it that. Um, let's dim the heads. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> okay, so, so the dim are somehow a more pure and brighter light color than the high beams. How does one come to this conclusion? What on earth? I mean, you, you can't even see anything really, but it's, it, you know, it's just so much brighter. It just blends in with the, uh, the textureless white all around on the white brow. Wow. Wow. Let's see if the rears work. Wait, where's the... What? Where's the... There's supposed to be a rear. Um, can I... There we go. Okay, so the rear ditches do work. <laughs> that flare, man. Look at that perfect gelatinous like it looks like a jellyfish. That is that is just something. Haunts. <laughs> Doing the haunts dirty. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so uh let's let's uh let's try and go pull that empty coal train to a mine. Jeez, this, the sound does not change. So I've got four of these in the scene. I've got the one behind us that we we're just looking at. I've got two right here at the head end. And then I've got one on the very back of the rear uh, pushing. And wherever you go, this, the sound does not change. It's like I am way the hell down here, not near any locomotive. And you can still hear it like you're right next to it. We're across the goddamn river and you still hear it. It's like it's haunting you, chasing you. Okay, let's, uh... <sighs> let's, um, do stuff, I guess. <laughs> I don't know which ones look worse. Usually the dims are better because they don't have the crazy flare, but you know, the, oh, whatever. All right, let's just, let's try to remain focused here. All right, so I got about uh, somewhere around about 70 empty tubs um, as if this were going to uh, one of the mines. Um... So yeah, let's let's test out some air brakes here. Try the Indy. Wait a minute. Why the hell? 
Since when do independents set off PCS, my dude? What the? The sounds are just kind of there. They just continue. They don't go anywhere. They sound the same. Uh, yikes. I don't even want to set this thing in emergency realistically because it'll just take that much longer to uh, undo it. You can see he's actually got some seat support there that looks... <laughs> look how much fresher and newer that looks. And then look at the seat. Boy, oh boy. Baby steps, I guess. Alright, the the sound tapered off finally. Wow. Okay. Alright, auto brake. <laughs> well boy, that was quick for a a friggin' eighty car train. Dear Lord. Physics are my passion. Okay. All right. What the? F we just moving when I apply air? This shit backwards. Look how quick that goes, man. <laughs> if only. All right, one notch. Whoa, look at there, boys. And girls. And everything in between. Look at that. Dude, one notch. A boy. Uh. <laughs> what on earth? Bang? Bang? Okay. Physics. Holy. Look at that. Look at this train, my guys. And the thing is just launching. It's like freaking SpaceX rocket over here. That's one notch. Yeah, you put some of the searchlight ACUs on this train. It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a couple notches. 10 mile an hour. Let's try that horn out. Speedo. It says we're doing 13 digitally. And then the needle is reading 25. Broken. There's zero tractive effort. You see the uh, the little line to the bottom right of the uh, Speedo, the dial. Zero tractive effort going on right now. So, okay. We're still a notch one. We're doing 20 miles an hour. And we are hauling absolute ass. I mean, I guess it's... It's, you know, K5LA, whatever. It just doesn't sound good. The loop is bad. It's very quiet. We'll go way down here. Listen to that. Listen. You can still hear the engine. Oh, wait. There it goes. <laughs> Look at it. 
Look at this. Look how far we are. You can't even see the bastard. Ay. You know, I guess when it came to Dovetail Q&A, they were like, is there any missing textures? Does it move? Okay. Stamp. Past approval. You cannot hear the bell. The one thing you can hear about it, though, is it damn show ain't no e-bell. So, GG on that. Um, Still notch one doing 30 miles an hour. Although the speedometer is a bit confused. It thinks we're doing 55. It's not letting me turn the bell off. I'm smashing the B key. Hello, sir. I, I can't even turn it off on the horrid F4 HUD. What the frick? There it goes. Is that one of those like auto deals? Does Zen S have an auto bell like that? That's notch two. All right, this is gonna be a scientific run, guys. So yes, we will be speeding. We'll be breaking many, many laws. Hopefully this will not be a Palestine part two incident, although we're not carrying chemicals, nor are we anywhere near Palestine. That's notch two. Four. <laughs> the sounds are just no. Five. Six. Siete. Hotcha! It's eight. Do a little run by action, shall we? I'm not even gonna like try to edit this. This is just this is just how it is today, guys. Sorry. <laughs> not not that stuff's typically edited well or anything, but how much I care about this thing. Listen to that looping crackle. Here it comes. Away. Roro Ruby. Yep, not good. Not good. It's super bright in here. Alright, so we are clearly off the charts speed wise as far as the speedometer thinks, although we're doing 56 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. Alright, let's run it back. Let's wipe it, unlike the wiped poop shoot down below I love how it just springs backwards like a rubber band just silent now all right let's throw some air on it there we go PCS trip yet yeah, there's no light so up oh, there it goes it's still weird that it came on with the uh, independent brake I mean, it's it slowed down fairly quick. Uh, you know, I don't know if Mike's advanced brake script have anything to do with the actual physics. Um, 
but that slowed down way too quick. Uh, yeah, so the TBT ACU is available for those that may want it. Um, but do know that there's one coming from Searchlight and the thing looks, you know, even though it's Norfolk Southern, it looks pretty damn good. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't recommend it. It's, uh, I feel like every time I'm on pin coal, it's with a very bad product. I'm getting flashbacks of the last time I was here. Anyway, yeah, tra travel by train, um, Norfolk Southern, SD70, a uh, Bye.